Hello everybody, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are finally doing the long-awaited makeup inventory for 2023. So last January, I posted a makeup inventory where I went through every single section in my makeup collection, talked through everything that I had, counted everything up. That way we can kind of see where my collection is at in a year and I was hoping to have my collection a little bit smaller or just get rid of a couple of things that I haven't really been into as much and I'm definitely very excited to compare the numbers from last year to this year and not only the numbers but what products I have and what has kind of stuck around things I've decluttered used up just basically comparing my collection from last year to my collection this year so I went through my old video and screenshotted all of the products that I had from the last one so I do have them side by side over here so first thing looking at this photo from last year so first thing, looking at this photo from last year, which I'll pop up for a little bit just so you guys can tell, I have the NYX primer, which is the same, the plump right back, my Hollywood Flawless filter, my MAC Fix Plus, my Stila One Step Correct, and I believe that's it. I think all of these other ones are new from this year, which is pretty exciting. So I have about half old and half new, maybe a little bit more new. But last year I had 14 primers and this year I have only nine primers. So definitely smaller and that's exactly what I was looking for. And I really, really love a lot of these. I do need to try some of them out a little bit more like this one here from First Aid Beauty. And this one from Maybelline, but before I get into too much about it, let's go ahead and start going through them. So even though I mentioned them, I'll go through them again. First one I have is this NYX Plump Right Back Primer. As you can see, I have a little bit less than half of it used up. This is kind of where the, the airless pump lays, and I really, really like this one. It is a gel primer. So it's completely clear as you can see. And I just find that it's really nice and hydrating and provides a nice base on my skin. It definitely isn't super tacky like compared to some of the other ones like this Urban Decay one or the Milk Hydro Grip or anything like that. But it definitely does leave a little bit of a sticky base. And I just find that's a really good kind of just overall primer. And I do really, really like it. Then the next one that I also had last year was this one from Charlotte Tilbury. I believe I purchased this like newly last year or towards the end of 2021, I guess leading into 2022. As you can see, my packaging is pretty beat up. I find that when my hands are like moisturized and I touch this packaging, the letters just kind of like come off. Like you can kind of see on my finger here after just kind of rubbing at this, they'll just fall off, which is really weird because I had just put moisturizer on. So not the best quality on the packaging as far as like the printing goes, but this is a really nice glass bottle. And and I love this. I have mine in the shade number two fair. I'm really curious to try out the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I almost bought it the other day and then I was like, you know what? I still have the Charlotte Tilbury one, which is what the e.l.f. Halo Glow is a dupe for. So I might as well not buy the dupe when I have the original. So that's where I lie with that one. And this one I absolutely love. I use it all the time. Then I have this one here from MAC. This is the MAC Fix Plus. I use this one not really as a primer, not really as a setting spray, just kind of whatever. I do like to use it to wet my sponge every now and then. It's just kind of like a nice mist that's pretty multi-purpose. I don't use it a ton. I really should pull it out and keep it on my desk. I only have a very little bit left. Um, it says 24 months and it's probably creeping up on about 24 months that I've had this because I'm not sure how long I had had it in last video. So it's at least a year old, but yeah, we'll just kind of have to see with that one. But I do like that one. I don't know if I would ever repurchase it though. Then I have my Steel One Step Correct. Last year I had two of these. Now I'm down to one. I had one as a backup. And I guess I finally moved on to it. I love this primer. I believe this is my third one of the Steel One Step Correct. It's just so good when you pump it out. It has like a little swirl of colors on here. But once you blend it in, it just creates a really nice like kind of tinted base and not even that it gives coverage but it just sort of smooths it out and it's really really hydrating I wear this on its own or as a primer and I just really really like it and I would definitely definitely repurchase this one once I run out of that then I have this one from Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Ultra Glow Face Primer. I really like this again. It's sort of a gel primer. However, this one does get very, very sticky and it is very dewy and glowy as you can tell because this is the Ultra Glow one. So I think it's supposed to be that way. But I really like this one again, a really good base. Kind of similar to this one, just not as sort of sticky once it dries down. Another one that I really love is this one from Good Molecules. This is the Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I actually used up a travel size or like a, like not just not this big size, but like a smaller size of this one this year and I repurchased it in the full size because I just absolutely love it it is so good one that I was hoping would be kind of similar to this one I believe I got it at TJ Maxx actually even though oh I think it was in a box that's why the tag isn't on here this is the ultra repair hyaluronic hydrating primer and this one I thought it would be more hydrating than it is like it's just kind of like a lightweight moisturizer almost like it doesn't really feel 
as sort of thick and rich as I was hoping for again because I was looking for things that were super hydrating but I mean it is definitely a nice primer just nothing spectacular it does smell really good though it smells kind of like fruity like tropical fruity so I do really like that but yeah I still need to play around with that one a little bit more and then I have this from Maybelline this is the instant Adrian perfecter four in one and I have a zero zero fair light which is the lightest shade but this honestly looks kind of dark and I find that it's actually is a little bit dark on me on my face it's definitely not terrible and like compared to this one from charlotte tilbury maybe you could see the difference a little bit more how it's just a little bit deeper a little bit more tan so i do think for the summertime i'll actually probably really like it i just haven't messed around with it too much just since it is a little bit dark for me right now so i'm definitely not going to be getting rid of this anytime soon but yeah i do like that one and the last one is this lys secure skin gripping serum primer it's definitely very liquidy don't know how well you'll be able to kind of see but it's very much a serum and I just haven't absolutely fallen in love with this one yet. Maybe again in the summertime when my skin's not as dry, but right now I just need a, something with a little bit more kind of grip to it. This one is just like a nice lightweight one where it'd be good if you had oily skin, I think, because it's not super thick and super heavy feeling almost, but it does still give a little bit of like tack to your skin. So again, at the start of this year in 2023, I have nine primers. Now let's go ahead and move on to foundation. Right now onto foundation. It's so crazy seeing how different my makeup is compared to last year because last year I had 14 foundations and now I only have six. And out of the 14 from last year, I believe this one is the only one that's the same. I think all the rest of these are new and I decluttered all the rest of them. This is so weird looking back how this was only a year ago because I feel like some of this stuff that I have in this old photo, I feel like I got rid of that so, so long ago. It is definitely nice to kind of remind myself how new some of this stuff is and not get sick of things things too quickly thinking that they're old because they're really not because all of this stuff is less than a year old except for this foundation stick so that is pretty crazy to think about but I guess we'll go ahead and get started so first thing I have is this Primark PS My Perfect Color foundation and contour stick I have this in the shade porcelain I guess I'll go ahead and do little swatches of them just so even I can kind of see what my foundations are at because I feel like they're really all over the place honestly but I love this thing I probably need to get rid of it this year because it says 18 months now that I know that it's definitely over a year old I'd be kind of risking it keeping it any longer than this year next one I have are the Fenty Beauty eavesdrops I have this in the shade number three it's the blurring skin tint I really liked this at the time I just find that it does not wear as well on me I find that it gets like a little bit cakey looking throughout the day and again it's definitely a little bit of a tanner shade so we'll see in the summertime I mean it does sheer out like you could see I'll put it over here it does sheer out nicely but this is just what kind of like a thick swatch of it looks like then I have from Tower 28 the Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen, and I have this one in the shade number 10 Larchmont. And this one I actually got in PR from Tower 28. They sent me a couple of things like a few months ago, and I didn't get to use this as much as I wanted to over the summer just because I was doing a little bit of a more like natural base and makeup. I really haven't been wearing foundation at all recently since I just got the Charlotte Tilbury one a couple of days ago. I've been using that one like two or three times. But before that, that's why I declutter all my foundation because I just like don't really wear foundation to be honest. So I haven't used this one a ton, but I would like to try and use it more this summertime. The next one I have is this one from She Glam. This is the Skin Fluencer Full Cover foundation balm in shell and this one if I remember correctly is like my perfect foundation shade so really I should match things to this shade because on my face this is a perfect match my hands obviously are a little bit lighter and a little bit more pale but this one is just perfect on me and I love this it's really good for spot concealing or even just taking a little bit and kind of again just blending it all over your skin for more full coverage I do like kind of the versatility of it so I do enjoy that one then I have this one for Misha this is the perfect cover BB cream and I have this one in the shade natural beige this one looks super kind of gray when i pump it out on my hand since it's a bb cream it does sheer out really really nicely and i actually love it because i find to me personally all of these look very yellow this one is looking kind of gray olivey but once you blend it out it just looks really good and if you warm it up with bronzer i find that it's a really nice shade on me it does just look very harsh on the back of my hand here especially next to all these super yellowy orangey ones like how oxidized this one here from fenty's getting that's kind of of crazy and then on to my last one over here this is from charlotte tilbury this is the beautiful skin foundation in the shade one neutral this is another one that i really really like and the color is also pretty good but i really really like this one and i did just get it a couple days ago so i do need to try it out a little bit more but this is what my foundation collection is looking like so in total i have six foundations
All right, so now onto concealers. Looking at my old one, I do think I have more concealers now. Last year I had 11 concealers, and the ones that remained the same were this one. This actually is brand new. I haven't even used this yet, but I did have one of these last year. I just think I used it up, and now I repurchased another one, so we'll put that one there saying that I had it last year as well. And then I think that's it. I think these are my only two that I have that are like the same as last year. And this is the only one that like I've actually had this physical one since last year. The rest of these were all new or purchased this year. So that's pretty cool. Um, this has definitely been a year of me trying out a bunch of different concealers and concealer type products. Again, because I haven't really been wearing foundation, I just wanted to find concealers that are good on my under eyes, but also all over my face and that wear well. So let's go ahead and start getting into it. First one I have is this one from Glossier. This is in the shade G11. It's one of their stretch concealers concealers this is really good i had g10 last year there's like lint in it but g10 is a little bit too dark for me now i used to fake tan a little bit more but now i literally never do so g11 is a good shade for me then i have this one from maybelline this is the instant age rewind eraser and i have this one in the shade 110 i'm not sure what shade i had last year because it doesn't show it in the screenshot but i do think that this one would be good for me this year so i have that one i love that one i've been using this one for years on and off it's just always a classic and it's super super creamy so i love it for the under eye then i have this one from rose ink this is their concealer in the shade lx30 this one's another a really good one very full coverage though um so i do have to be a little bit careful with that one if my skin is super dry this one was was a newly discovered one this year that I feel like a lot of people had known about before but this is the Benefit Boing Cakeless Concealer. I have mine in the shade number one. This is so good and it really is what it says like a cakeless concealer. It's super good for the under eyes and wears really really well and I do really like this one. I find that I use this one the most out of all my concealers right now aside from my Sephora one, which is like a new favorite of mine. So we'll get to that one at the end, but I do really like that one. Then I have this one from Pat McGrath. This is in the shade L3. This is their Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. This one is just way too yellow for me and a little bit too dark, so I never use it. I wanna try and see maybe if once I get a little bit more tan, over the summer if I even ever get tan or just to have a darker option of a concealer I don't know it could be good if I end up never liking this whenever I use it I probably will just give it to my mom but I bought it like Black Friday for like $12 or something so I've just been holding on to it and waiting for an opportunity to actually use it um, then I have this one from Ariane Beauty. This is in Fair 6N. This one's a little bit light for me, but I do like it. I wish it was a little bit more hydrating. I just feel like you can see it's almost more of like a kind of whipped concealer and it's just very thick. So not my favorite, but it is good for brightening under my eye because it is a very, very kind of stark color. Oh so yeah, I do have that one. Then I have this from NARS. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Light 1.25. This one is pretty good. Again, it's like a soft matte, so not my favorite, favorite formula for under my eyes, but I do like this for on the face for spot concealing. And it is a pretty good color match to my like actual skin tone as well. So I do like it for that. Then I have this little itty bitty Tarte Ultra Creamy Concealer. I believe it's in the shade Light Sand. Yeah, 20S Light Sand. I feel like I've used this so much, but there's still so much product in it, even though it's tiny. I think I got this in like an Ipsy or something, but I love this one. I do not like the original Tarte Shape Tape. I used to use that, but my skin is just way too dry for it. So I find that the Ultra Creamy version is really good. So I do enjoy that one. Then I have this one from the Sayum. I got this one from YesStyle. I have a video testing out a bunch of Korean beauty products. If you want to go ahead and check that out, go for it. But this is the concealer that I picked up in that video and I have it in 1.5. And again, this one's a little bit too dark for me, but the undertone is really nice. Like it's not too yellow or orange on me. So I do really like that one. So I have that one from the Sayum. Then this one is one of my newest ones. This is a little mini NARS Regain Creamy Concealer in the shade Light One Chantilly. I used to have this, like I used to buy minis all the time. I think when I was in like high school or like beginning of college and I remembered really liking it. So when I went to return the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Concealer that I did not like because it had glitter in it, I figured I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and pick this one up because I wanted to replace it. So I got a mini one of that and it actually is really, really good. Then I have the Rare Beauty Under Eye Brightener. I have mine in the shade Light, I believe. And this is a really, really good under eye brightener. It's not going to give you that kind of coverage like a concealer. It does give a little bit, but I find that it's good for kind of like no makeup makeup days or days that I don't even wear makeup and I just kind of want to cancel out the darkness under my eyes. This is a really good one, so I do very much enjoy that one. 
And then surprisingly, one of my favorite concealers of the year, I think, is the Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This is in the shade 04N, and this stuff is amazing. Mine's probably in a shade a little bit too light for me, but I find that it works just fine, honestly, once it's all blended out. I am curious to maybe pick up a different shade, like maybe one that's like two shades darker, just because this one is like very, very stark. Let me show you like how it looks on my hand. Like it, it is very, very light. But again, I do like it for bright but this wears so well I find that once I put this on like I wear this stuff I know I'm gonna have my makeup on for a long time and I need it to look good because by the end of the day I look at myself in the mirror and my concealer is still smooth and not creasy not scaly I just it looks so good and I absolutely love this concealer and out of all of these, if you had to pick up one, my top three, I would say, like, one for drugstore would be the Maybelline Eraser one, and then these two. These ones are so good. They're very, very similar, I find, and the Sephora even has more coverage. So, if that's what you're looking for, get the Sephora one. The Boing is a little bit thinner, but they both have that same effect where I look at myself at the end of the day, and it just looks so good. So, that is my concealer collection. So, again, I have 12 concealers. So now looking at my powders compared to last year, there is definitely quite a big difference. Last year I had 11 powders and this year I only have five and two of them are the same because one is almost done. So I do just have a backup of that, which this is my favorite loose powder ever. This is the Maybelline Fit Me loose finishing powder. And somebody commented that they're actually discontinuing the Maybelline Fit Me powder. So please let me know if you heard that because I'd literally be devastated. This is so good. It's a very, very similar in formula to the Laura Mercier one. Oh, actually that reminds me for, for Christmas, I have a mini one. So I actually have six powders and not five, but we'll go over that at the end again anyway. But this is so good. I have both of mine in the shade 05. It's my perfect under eye color. I just think it's so good. And again, very similar in texture to the Laura Mercier. They have a translucent version as well. I haven't tried the translucent version because I do like the, the fair. I don't know. I just find that it works for me. It's just the one that I've used. So that's what I have for that one. And then I have just a mini of the regular Laura Mercier translucent powder. It's not like my absolute die hard favorite one. Like I wouldn't go out and purchase it myself, but I do find that it is a pretty decent powder for the under eyes. Then I have this one from Bare Minerals. This is actually a powder concealer. It's in the shade Well Rested. I just put it with my powders because I use it more of like a full coverage kind of powder to use at the end of my makeup if I have any like stubborn breakouts or anything like that. So I have that one as well. This one from Lawless. This is the Steal the Deal loose setting powder. This used to be in a project pan like last year when I would do that more. But yeah, so I have this one, which again was the same as last year. I actually forgot to mention the ones that were the same. So I had a Fit Me powder last year, which I think was actually this exact one. So I have that one. Now I have another one. I had this exact one last year as well. I had this exact one, the Lawless powder. And then I also had a Pat McGrath powder, which is one of my favorite under eye setting powders. This is the Blurring Under Eye Powder. It's so good. It's kind of like this white HD powder. You can see I hit pan on it. This is my second one that I've used of these. It's just so good. It looks white. But then once you put it on, it's just like the most smooth looking under eye ever. It's so good. So even though I had this one last year, this is technically a new one. Like I used one up and this is my second one. But yeah, powder, I've honestly been sticking to the ones that I love. And I just got rid of the ones that I don't. Except for this one was one that I had gotten as a gift. But all the other ones are my ones that I had last year. And I've been continuing to love and repurchase. So very much unlike last year to start off 2023, I only have six powders. All right, so compared to last year, we're kind of similar-ish. I had 11 last Last year and now I only have 10 so one less than last year but the products have changed around quite a bit I believe the only ones that are the same are this one from Physicians Formula the butter bronzer and I think that's actually it oh and my Dior one so these are the only two that are this that are actually the same as last year all the other ones I've acquired within the last year so we'll start off with these ones first one I have is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer this is just a mini one in the original bronzer shade as you can see I hit pan in this I love this one it's such a classic and it's definitely one that I do like to keep around in my collection then I have this one from Dior this is the Dior Forever Bronzer in the shade 05 Warm Bronze I feel like last year when I had this in my video I feel like it was like a couple of days or so after I had only first gotten it because I feel like I haven't had this for this long. I feel like I had the Fenty Ease Drops for, you know, two or three years, whereas it was only a year. But this one, I feel like I've only had it a couple of months, but it's already been a year. So I don't know if that makes any sense, but I really like this one. This is so good. I wore away all of like the embossing on here. It's a matte bronzer, but it's like a matte, but not flat. It's not completely matte. Like it still has a little bit of like a kind of satiny finish to it. And I forgot, let me go ahead and actually swatch this because that was something I wanted to do. I wanted to continue Continue to like swatch everything in here just so you can see but I love this tone of bronzer very similar to the butter bronzer it just works and I really enjoy it 
One bronzer that I do not like and I definitely would not recommend is the Glossier Solar Paint. I have this one in the shade Ray. I picked this one up for super cheap at Marshalls or TJ Maxx, I believe, and I did not like it. It just blended awfully. I think I used this in like a testing new makeup video. I literally hated it when I used that. So I don't like that one, but you know, it is in my collection. Then I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which again, I'm really surprised that I've had this one for less than a year because it is almost completely done. To be fair, I feel like they don't start with a ton of product, but I have been using this a ton lately. I just find that it blends really nicely. So I've really been loving this one. I have it in the fair medium shade definitely love that one and I would recommend it very pricey though I'm curious once I use this one up to actually try the Tarte one which I'll pop up a picture here they came out sort of like a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury one because I think this one is almost $50 I think that the Tarte one is like 35 to 40 ish so definitely still very expensive. But if it's similar enough to the Charlotte Tilbury, I do think it's worth it because I really, really like this product. So that was that one. I guess we'll continue to go with creams while we're on it. But I have this one from Makeup by Mario, which you guys already know. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light Medium. I love this stuff. It is just so good. You can see mine is so completely disgusting, but I feel like that goes to show how much you really like a product if you're using it that much. I have major pan in it. It is just such a good everyday bronzer. I just swirl my brush around in it, put this around my temples, on my cheekbones, and I wear this with makeup, without makeup. It works either way. It is just such an amazing product, and I definitely recommend it. If you pick up anything from this pile, pick up this Makeup by Mario. It is just so good. Don't get the powder one, though. Get this one, the cream version. It is just so, so, so good. Absolutely love that one. Then I have two other creams here. I have this one from Merit in the shade Clay. This is their Bronze Balm, which they came out with this year. And this is another one that is just so good. It's very like emollient feeling. And as you can see, it's not super opaque like some of these other ones. It's just very sheer. So it's a really good one, again, to use with or without makeup because you can see it's kind of sheer. So your skin shines through it, but it does add a little bit of depth and a little bit of glow to your skin. It's just so good. This is another one I really, really recommend. And if you guys are interested in picking up anything from Merit, by the way, while I'm talking about it, I do have an affiliate link with them down below. So I do make a little commission from that if you wanted to shop anything. But if you were interested, you can go ahead and check that out down below. Same thing with Yes Style also. I should have mentioned that earlier when I was talking about the Misha Foundation. I do have a link with them as well. And I think a coupon code too, if you're interested. I think it's like Hannah Tag 10, but all the information will be in, it will be in the description box. So just wanted to throw that out there. Then next one I have is this one from She Glam. This is the Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour. I have this one in the shade Golden Sun. This is another one that I absolutely love the color. It's just such a nice, like, cool toned, but not too dark color. It's, I love it. it. It's just so good. It blends really nicely. And I find that this is an amazing product. I have one of the liquid blushes as well, which you guys will see. And I think that the formula of the She Glam liquid products that come in this packaging specifically are so good. I think they actually have a highlighter as well, like a liquid highlight in this kind of packaging that I really want to check out because I just love all their stuff. It's super affordable too. Like you can't beat it. Then I have a couple more powders. Oh my gosh. I also have my Too Faced bronzer. I knew I was missing something so I have the same number this year as I did last year but we'll get to that one as well. I have this one here from NARS. This is the NARS of Alyarda matte bronzer although it's not matte. It definitely has a little bit of a glowy satiny finish to it. This is one of my all-time favorite bronzers ever. I would definitely repurchase this one once I finish it up. That is how much I love it. It's just so good. It's so smooth and creamy. The color is perfect. It's just amazing. I absolutely love it. Then I have this one here from Becca. This is the Capri Coast bronzer and Rip Becca. You know, they're still not around anymore, but my manager very kindly gave me this. We're actually talking about Becca closing down and I was like, yeah, it's a shame because I really used to love the bronzer. And she was like, oh, I actually think I have one. Like, I'll give it to you next time I see you. And she came in and gave me this one, which was so sweet. So I do have a little mini Capri Coast that I'm like too scared to use because I'm going to miss it so much when it's gone. But I really, really do love that product. Product. Now on to my last two bronzers. I have this one from Tarte. This is a Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay waterproof bronzer. This is a really good one. A very glowy. I love the formula of it. Not as kind of cool toned as some of my other ones. Definitely not like orangey by any means, but I still do really like this one. So that is that one. And then this one has been my most recent favorite. This is one that I picked up, I think, on my birthday, actually. It's the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Natural Chocolate and Golden Cocoa. This one I find is pretty similar, I think, to the Park Avenue Princess one in the way that they kind of shine. I guess the Too Faced one is maybe a little bit more, like, yellow 
toned, I guess. I don't know, but I really like both of them. So this is my bronzers starting out this year. So in total, I have 11 bronzers, same number as last year, but definitely very different products. So I'm very curious to see where my bronzer collection will be in a year from now, but let's go ahead and move on to blushes. So looking at my photo from last year, I actually had 17 blushes and keeping with the theme, it looks like I do still have a lot, but to be fair, three of them are ones that I had gotten as a Christmas gift, all from the same collection within the last month or so. So they weren't even ones that I bought. So if you look, take those out of the collection, this is more so what mine is like. But yeah, regardless, I mean, this is what I do just have at the beginning of the year. So of course I'm gonna inventory it all. Looking at last year, it's kind of hard for me to pick out. Same thing with the bronzers, like which ones were the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and go through them anyway. But I guess, you know what? We Maybe we'll start off with all of my cream ones just to kind of make it a little bit easier to kind of go through things. So these ones are my powders and these are my cream creams and like creams. First thing we'll do is start off with some liquid ones. So I have this one from She Glam I was talking about earlier. This one is in the shade Love Cake. And this one is so cute. I love the color so much. Last year, if you look at all my blushes, they were all pretty much the same sort of like terracotta-y type of color. But this year I've definitely gotten back into more kind of pinky tones and I'm really loving it, honestly. This one is really good. It doesn't have any sort of shimmer to it, but it's not like a matte cream. Like it doesn't really dry down too much. I just think it looks really nice on the skin. Then I have this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in Pinkgasm. I'm obsessed with this one. I absolutely love it. This one has shimmer to it, and I just think it's absolutely beautiful. And I would definitely, definitely recommend this one. Another one that I know is pretty well hyped is this one from Rare Beauty. I have this one in the shade Hope, which I think is very similar in formula to the She Glam ones, actually. And I'd like to see them next to each other, honestly. Yeah, pretty similar. Hope, if anything, is maybe a little bit more kind of warm toned, but honestly, they are very, very similar. So if the Rare Beauty ones are a little bit too expensive for you, I think the She Glam ones are like about five, maybe $6, and very similar to Rare Beauty in the shade Hope, which I've seen a lot of people talking about. If you know, you know, Alex Earl, she always talks about this one, her and a bunch of other people as well, but she's the one that I've seen name that specific shade and that's why I ended up picking it up obviously it's a little bit darker on me than it looks on her on her it looks very baby pink but to be fair she's pretty tan you know living in Miami but yeah this one I do really like as well and it blends out very nicely then I have this from Tower 28 this is their Beach Please blush in the shade Magic Hour I really like this one I think I had this one last year however I think this is a new one mine expired last year and then again when Tower 28 had sent me some PR I think they sent over this one so this is with this shade looks like it's a little bit warmer a little bit more kind of nude ish but i love this one definitely a little bit more emollient and stays kind of tacky on the skin but i do really like it anyway then my one that I have left for Merit is in the shade Cheeky. This is their Flush Bomb cheek color. And they redid their packaging, so I got rid of some of the other ones that I had that were in the older packaging, and I kept the one in the newer packaging. But this one is really pretty. It's more of like a berry kind of pink, which I don't really have all that much in my collection, so I think that that's super fun. And I do really enjoy this one. It blends out very easily, like with your fingertips. You really don't need a brush. It's a very thin, sort of creamy formula. Then I have this one from Bobbi Brown, which is in the shade Powder Pink. It's one of their Pot Rouge. It says actually you can use it for your lips, which I've never done before, and maybe... Let me take a little bit right now and do that. All right, it's actually, it's a little bit pale for what I like for my lips, honestly, but for a blush, I think that this is so pretty. I really, really like this one. It's very similar in formula, I think, to the Tower 28 ones, but it's just a little bit deeper and a little bit more nude. So I really, really enjoy this one. And then last sort of creamy one, I figured this would be a good transition into the powders. I have this one from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Nearly Neutral. And this one's really good. It's kind of like a cream to powder finish. So once you put it on your skin, it's it almost feels like a little bit powdery, like kind of that moussey feeling. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's very lightweight and feels kind of matte, like when you rub your hands together. So yeah, I really like this one. Very light, but I do think that you can build it up nicely on the skin, and I usually like to use this one on top of a cream afterwards, so I think it works perfectly for that. And yeah, this is all of my cream blushes. Look how beautiful. Now moving on to my powders, I have this one from Pat McGrath. This is in the shade Paradise Venus. Also, I think I am talking way too much, and I just need to go ahead and kind of get through it and just show you what's in my collection instead of like talking through everything because I did that kind of recently in my declutters like talking through everything so I'm not gonna do it again but this one's really pretty I that is one of like the terracotta ones that I kept 
Another one of my favorites ever is this one from MAC. This is the one in Warm Soul. This is so beautiful. It's I used to have a couple of MAC blushes, but this is the one that's kind of stuck around in my collection here. I have one of them at my boyfriend's house in the shade Lovejoy. That's in like my makeup bag over at his house, which is very similar to this, just a little bit darker. But I love this one. It builds up really nice. Even though it looks light, I always build it up to be a little bit deeper and a little bit more glowy on my skin. And it's just so good. It's been my everyday one. I have this in my everyday makeup drawer at the moment. So really, really like that one. Then I have this one from Benefit. This is the Georgia Peach Blush. This one I got for $5.99 at TJ Maxx recently within the last couple of months or so. This one, again, is very light. It's... Mm it's okay. I don't really know if this would survive a declutter, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's a little bit light on me, and it just doesn't, I don't know, it's just not really giving what I thought it would give, and I was a little bit disappointed by it, but, you know, it was only $5.99, so not too bad, but honestly, you can find things for $5.99 that are way better at the drugstore, so I really did not need that, but, you know, you live and you learn. Then moving on to this one from Kimchi Chic, I absolutely love this one. This is in the shade Vacation. It's one of the Thaler blushes. I brought this with me when I went on vacation to California so I'm always going to think about that but this blush is so good this was like my favorite one that I used all summer I just mixed the two shades together and it's just the most beautiful color so pigmented so beautiful really really long lasting and it just like air brushes my cheeks when I put this on so amazing. I love all the kimchi chic products that I've tried out so far. And I have this one from Ciate. This is just a little mini date night long wear skin brightening blush. I used to have a like full size version of this, I think, but that one got super old and I saw I was getting sent one in Ipsy. So I got rid of my old one and I'm just keeping this one, which I love. Again, the color, very, very glowy and such a pretty, beautiful color. Just very much up my alley for blushes. So really enjoy that one. And then this one is another like die hard favorite. Once I use this up, I definitely would repurchase it, even though I don't think I'm going to use it up anytime soon because I've had this thing for years. You can see it's in like the old original packaging. I think it's like a black packaging now, but this is so good. Milani Luminoso, guys. It's amazing. Look how beautiful, how glowy. And I have this one here from Chantikai. This is in the shade Grace, which is the turtle one. This one, it took me a little while to get into it, but once I started liking more pink blushes, I really got into it. It's just so beautiful. It's a little bit lighter, a little bit more kind of baby peachy pink, but I really do enjoy this one. I build that one up and then I'll put on a little bit of a blush topper type of shade, which I'll talk about a little bit more later. It's one of the Super Shock highlighters that I have. That's in kind of a deeper shade. I like to use that one for kind of like blush draping so that's it for those blushes and then last ones we have are these ones from the it's a small world collection this one is in the shade around the world which i'm not going to swatch them because i'm not sure which ones i'm going to keep yet but this one is like a baby pink and then i have this one in happiest cruise which is like a purpley mauve color and then i have this one in dancing darlings which is a kind of brighter sort of dark reddish color so that's what i have for blushes so again in total i have 17 blushes so same as last year but definitely a different mix going on over here definitely ones that i love a lot more than the ones i did looking back at the last photo all right so moving on to highlighter again looking at last year i definitely have probably a similar ish amount actually i probably have a lot more last year than i do this year but let's go ahead and just start going through it so two of them that have been around for quite a while are both of my mac Ones. So I have this one in the shade Double Gleam. It's one of their extra dimension skin finishes. And this one's really pretty. It's like a gorgeous kind of white gold color and I think it's really really pretty super super reflective but looks very skin like when you're looking at it kind of like straight on. So I do really like that one. Then I have the this mineralized skin finish in the shade Soft and Gentle, which I feel like both of these are kind of like classics as far as MAC goes, but I, again, really, really like this one. Very pretty, a little bit closer to kind of my natural skin tone, so it's not as like sort of icy as this one, but it still is very, very reflective, so definitely love that one. Then I have this one from Pat McGrath, which is very reflective. It is in the shade Lunar Nude. It was from one of their holiday collections, like, maybe two years ago. But this one's super pretty. A little bit dark on me, but it is still definitely very pretty. And if I do kind of, like, a light sort of dusting of it, it definitely doesn't look too dark on my skin. And, I mean, look at that shine. How beautiful. Also, this packaging is just, like, so lush. Like, I mean, come on. Look at that in the pan. I'm just going to flip it over, though, so it's not too bright and, like, reflective. Um, a new one that I have is this one from Rare Beauty. This is in the shade Exhilarate. It's one of the one of their brand new highlighters. And this one, I kind of wish I had gotten it maybe in the lighter shade. But I do think, again, sheared out similar to the one from Pat McGrath. It definitely looks just fine. But if it was a lighter shade, I would love it even more because look how smooth it looks on the skin. And it 
feels so smooth like some of them can feel a little bit thick like that pat mcgrath one but this one just feels so smooth and like there's nothing on the skin so definitely maybe you want to exchange this one because i did just buy it very recently so i could technically exchange it still so it's very possible that i may do that then I have this one, which is one of my all-time favorites. You could see it's even broken, but I don't know if they make the shade anymore. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. I used to have the entire collection of these, but I recently just dwindled it down to this one in the shade Bloom Time, which is just the most stunning, beautiful, amazing shade in the entire world. I absolutely love it. Look at that shine and the shimmer and the glow. This thing is just amazing, and I really, really hope that this is not a discontinued shade. I really will never see this one, Blossom Glow and Precious Petals, which Precious Petals is really good. I always used to say that was a dupe for Champagne Toast, and I do think that that still stands. It's like a nice deep rose gold, but I feel like Bloom Time is kind of like the lighter version of Precious Petals, so it was just perfect for me. So I do really, really love this one, and if you can get your hands on it, definitely recommend it. Then I have these two from ColourPop from the It's a Small World collection. Again, really love this one. Got both of these for Christmas time. This one is in the shade Jubilant Chorus, which this is the lighter version of it, and I think it's so pretty. It's kind of like a white, sort of frosty one, but it has a little bit of like a pink shimmer to it, which normally isn't for me, but something about the Super Shock formula, it just, it makes everything work, and it is so pretty. I just absolutely love this one. And this is the one that I was talking about for the blush draping. This one is in the shade Whimsical Ride. And as you can see, it's kind of a bronzy, pinky-ish version of the highlighter. And I think it works really, really well as a blush topper. This one, like, I wore today to work over my blush. And I just think it looked super pretty. So I really, really love both of these. The ColourPop Super Shock formula for, for highlighters, blushes, eyeshadows. It's just amazing. And I really, really recommend them. Then I have two cream ones here from Merit. I have this one in the shade Kava, which I believe is the lighter one. Yep, this one is a really, really pretty kind of icy shade, and it's just really glassy and dewy on the skin. I love this one. It's the one that I use a little bit more than this one, which is in the shade Bounce, which is more of a rose gold kind of color. They're very similar. Both work really nicely on my skin. The Bounce one is just a little bit more cool toned, whereas this one is just a little bit more pinky, but both of them are really good, and I love these. And I have this one from Fenty. This is the Diamond Bomb in How Many Carrots. And this one is just kind of like that translucent base with the glitter in it. And I absolutely love using this one when I go out. I think it looks so pretty and it's just like fun. I don't know. I just feel like it's a fun product. One that I don't really wear every day. But when I want to have that glitter, it just really is a moment. So I definitely really like that one. Now this one I have not used in quite a while. But I remember at one point in time saying this was my favorite highlighter ever which is the rem beauty one in miss mercury so i really want to pick this up again maybe in my next shop my stash i may do that one i remember it just looking really nice and skin like it feels a little bit thicker but it looks very glowy and nice on the skin and i mean that is a solid solid looking highlighter so i am definitely very curious to pick this one up again and see how it performs and lastly i have my natasha nona super glow in the shade number zero two light medium this one is just a classic one that just works and looks great this is that thin formula that that gives you that glass look on your skin it's just so beautiful and i definitely recommend this one if you wanted to pick up anything from here this is another really really good one if you're looking for a nice high-end one all right so that is it for my highlighters look how beautiful this hand is i am like so sad to be washing this all off but again overall for highlighters i have 13 this year and last year i forgot to mention i had 19 highlighters last year so i definitely have a lot less this year and ones that again i love a lot a lot more all right, so now moving on to face palettes last year i had six of them and one of them actually two of them are still the same which are these two and then i guess i got rid of the other ones and then the only other two that i picked up this year were these two and i feel like this one like i can't believe i've had this less than a year or at least a year because I just feel like I've had this so long like I've hit pan in it I've gotten use out of it I know that I love it and I'm just really surprised I've had that one for like within only a year moving on to this one here we have from Pat McGrath this one you see all the time if you watch my shop my stash videos same with this Alamar one this is the divine blush and glow trio in galactic sun it has the two blushes in here and the highlighter which I will go ahead and swatch for you guys so 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 pretty really love all the products in here and i definitely will hold on to this one for quite a long time then i have this one from alamar this is the hydrating complexion trio so good i love this powder in here it's kind of like a glowy 
powder with a little bit of coverage to it and I just use this a ton over the summer. I like it to set my under eyes all over my face. It's just a really good powder and then they do have the two bronzers in here as well. I think there are two versions of this palette. I also don't think they make it anymore. You can actually find it at TJ Maxx. I saw it there and I was really tempted to get it but I was like you know what I really would only be buying it for the powder so I don't know. <laughs> it's possible I might pick it up again but I'm not really sure yet but these are what the two bronzer shades look like. I usually just mix them together. Then I had last year was this from Tarte. This is the Clay Play Volume 2 eye and cheek palette and this one I tried to make an effort to use a little bit more since my last declutter and I definitely have been doing that. This is a really good travel palette and I do just like to have it. It still smells really good and it does have sentimental memories. I always bring this up but this is the one palette that I would always bring with me whenever I go visit my boyfriend when he went away to college a few years ago so it's just very sentimental to me and I do just like to hold on to it. Then I have this one from Ofra, which I got in like a boxy drop shop, I think, when I had boxy charm at some point last year. This is the Mini Mix Charm Your Cheeks palette, and it has a couple of blushes in it. I do like the blushes. I just don't ever use palettes like this, so I rarely reach for it, even though the products are really good. Um, but yeah, again, I do have that, so I am going to count it as part of my collection. So again, for face palettes, I have four of them. Now on to lip products. Last year I didn't count out individual like lip glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, and I'm going to do the same thing this year because, I don't know, I just kind of use them whichever way and nothing too crazy, but last year I had 62 lip products, and I don't know if I should count my two like Laneige lip masks. I don't know, maybe I will, but I have two of these. I'm just, the other one's on my nightstand, so I'm not going to grab it, but I will go ahead and count this one. So I have this one in apple lime, and then I also have the other one in berry, so, so I do have those ones. And unfortunately, I just, I do not have enough time to swatch all of my lip products, so if you want to see me swatch all my lip products, I believe I did in my recent lip declutter video, so you can go ahead and go through that one. But I guess basically we'll go through kind of one little organizer at a time just to make it a little bit easier for myself. You know what? I think I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way just so I have kind of some free space. So we'll empty them out and then we'll go through them. So I have this lipstick here from Merit in the shade Millennial, which is like a pinky version. I really love this. Then I also have it in the shade La Avenue, which is my favorite one. Very, very beautiful. Then I have a ColourPop lippy stick in the shade Poison, I believe, which is a dark red. I have a Fenty lipstick. This is a reusable one, but the one that I have in here right now is in 06 Color Sista, which is a really, really pretty shade. I have a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in the shade Clear. A little Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Sweater Weather, and I also have the lip liner in the shade Sweater Weather. And I have this Mented Lip Pencil in the shade Lala. I have a Charlotte Tilbury mini lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk. I have another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Very Victoria. A Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I actually have two of these. I have a lipstick from Kimchi Chic and Trixie Mattel in the shade Gingerbread, which is like a really pretty kind of dark brown. And I have a mini Clinique Almost lipstick in the shade Black Honey which this is one of my absolute favorites if you guys know me. I have a big one in my everyday drawer, which you'll see at the end. So I have three Tower 28 lip glosses. I have this one in the shade Cashew, I have this one in the shade Pistachio, and then this one in the shade Fire. I have a Glasting Water Tint from Romand in the shade Rose Splash. I have this Lip Topper from Queen Cosmetics in the shade Wanderlust. This Pat McGrath Gloss in the shade Flash 6. This little lip balm in the scent Peach Blossom from Lasting Smiles. I have this Alana Lips 101 ointment in Strawberry. I absolutely love this. I've gone through a bunch of different flavors of this one. I have a Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Cupcake, and this is one of their cream formulas. I have a little mini Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. I have a Merit Lip Oil in the shade Sangria. I have a couple of these ColourPop Fresh Kiss lip stains in the shades Seven Seaways, Sing Along, and Smiling Faces. I have another lip product here from Queen Cosmetics, but this, this is one of their hemp-infused glosses in the shade Pink Jelly. I really, really like this one. I have this KVD Lip Cream in the shade Lolita. And then I have a House Labs PhD Lip Oil in the shade Hue. And moving on to my everyday lip section, plus everything that I had in like all of my bags and purses, I finally went through all of them just for the inventory video. I had this lip balm from Clinique. Then I have this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, which is so beautiful. It's in the shade Glowing Gen, and this is like my most perfect shade literally in the entire world ever. It's so beautiful. Another one of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium 2 lip liners. The other one was a mini, but this one was like a full-size one that I've just gone ahead and been using. 
I have another lip liner here from Vintage. This is the Cashmere Lip Pencil in the shade Mocha. I have this M Cosmetics lip cushion in Venetian Rose. I have another little mini Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk Medium 2. I have this Rowan Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Charlie. Another one of the ColourPop Fresh Kiss ones from the It's a Small World collection. This one's in the shade Clock Tower. A full-size Clinique Black Honey Almost Lipstick. It's just so, so, so good. I love this product. I have this little mini Pat McGrath lip balm, and this is just the clear one. I have the Dior Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in the shade Mahogany. Again, another favorite. This is literally all I have left of this. It's one of my favorite lip balms. Then I have another one of the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lips in the shade Cranberry. One of my favorite all-time lip products ever is this from Trixie Cosmetics. It's one of their lip glosses in the shade Scarlet Letter. This is so good. Oh, I love this. It's like a sheer kind of reddish color. It's so beautiful. Then I have another product from Queen Cosmetics. This is their Hemp Infused Gloss in the shade Hot Cocoa. Then I have this Tarte Man Eater Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Buff. And lastly, I have this here from Tarte Sugar Rush. This is in the shade Cherry Slush. It's one of their little lip glosses. And that is it for lip products. Let me go ahead and count these out and then I'll let you know what the total was. All right, so after counting everything and counting my two Laneige lip masks, I have 48 lip products. So definitely better than the 62, but still a lot more, honestly, than I thought that I had. Um, so yeah, 48 lip products. Right now on to mascaras. Last year I actually had... 11 mascaras, but this year I only have three because I actually don't even wear mascara anymore because I always have the Kiss Falscara lash extensions on. I use the Kiss Falscara system to just apply lashes that I get off of Amazon, so I never ever wear mascara. But I do just have a couple in case, you know, the rare time that I ever need one. So I have one that's actually open that sometimes I use on my bottom lashes. I have this one from Maybelline. It's the Sky High one, and I believe it's in the True Brown shade. So it's just like a, like a dark brown kind of color that I like to use sometimes. And then I have two that are unopened. I have this one from Lancome. This is the Le 8 Hypnos Mascara. It's the serum infused volumizing one, which is in like actually a really cool glass like bottle. So I don't know. I kept that one when I was kind of decluttering all that stuff. And then I also have this little mini, um, their real magnet one from Benefit. So that's all that I have for mascara. So only three mascaras. We're moving on to eyeliners. Last year I actually had 21 eyeliners. So I definitely have a lot less this year. I had like basically the entire full collection of like these ColourPop ones, but a lot of mine dried out and I just haven't repurchased them just because I've really only been wearing my brown liner too much. I haven't been doing too much colorful liner, but you know, I still have a couple of them. So let's just go ahead and get into it. So I do have this one here from ColourPop. This is one of their graphics ink liner. And this one is from like the Harry Potter collection that I got as a gift. And this one's in the shade of sword. So this is the like metallic kind of red one, which is pretty cool. And I guess I'll do little swatches of these, right? Might as well. So it's just a cool metallic red. Then I have this black one from KVD. It's one of their tattoo liners. I never ever wear black liner, but it's honestly good to have sometimes. This one I've had for quite a while, so it's kind of like dried out, but I don't know. It's good for like when I was like for Halloween, like I was a cat, so I needed a black liner to do like the whiskers, but have that one. Then I also have this one from Fenty. This is like my literal everyday, like holy grail, cannot live without this liner. This is in the shade Big Truffle. It's their fly liner. It's just so good. I've had this for so long and I mean it is still going. Like it is such the perfect brown shade on me. I also really thought that I had my Charlotte Tilbury liquid liner in super brown. I have zero idea where it is and I guess I can't really inventory it if I don't have it. So if it ever pops up one day just know that I found it. But I have zero idea where it is so I'm not counting it towards my collection because I can't even use it because I have no idea where it is. Um, but yeah that's another really good brown one that I like. Then I have a couple of these ColourPop ones. This one is in the shade The Hills. This is a really, really good formula. This is actually pretty dry, so I'm gonna have to declutter this if I do another clutter video in the next couple of months or so, but that's a really nice green. Then I have this one in the shade Grande, which is the original brown liner that I ever used. This is a really good one. It's a little bit darker than the one from the Fenty one, so I actually prefer Fenty over this one, but it's still a really good one if you're looking for an affordable option. Then I have this one in the shade Graceland, which is the white shade. This is a really, really good white liner. It's super pigmented and super vibrant, so I find that it works really, really well. Then last one I have out of this collection is this one in Sky High, which is a really pretty sort of light blue color. And this one is pretty juicy because I haven't really used this one all that much, but I do think it's really beautiful. So that's it for my liquid liners. And then now I have a couple of pencil ones. So I have this one from Araceli. This is the Ojos Perfectos one in the shade Navy. 
I got this in like an Ipsy, so I probably wouldn't have purchased a navy liner for myself. I probably would have gotten a brown one, but I don't really wear pencil liner too much, and I just use this every now and then on like my upper lash line, but I don't even really do it that often, so not really a point to it. But then I have this one also from Too Faced. This is the Killer Liner in the shade Killer Camo, which, you know what, let me sharpen this right now because every time I show it, I never sharpen it and I never use it because it's not sharpened. So let me do that right now. All right, there we go. A nice sharp pencil. This one is really good. I love the color. This is like my favorite color is this sort of olive green. I think it's so beautiful and I really like this one. And maybe now I'll use it again now that it's actually sharpened. And then last one I have is this one from Pixie. This is the Endless Eye Silky Pen in the shade Bronze Beam, I believe. Yep, in the shade Bronze Beam, which actually this is another one I need to sharpen. Right, there we go. Another nice sharpened one. This is another one that I like to use to tight line or just add a little bit of dimension to my lower lash line. So really enjoyed that one. So compared to the whopping 21 of last year, this year I only have 10 to start off the year. Now moving on to primers. Last year I had four primers and this year I have three. So one of them that remained the same was the NYX Glitter Primer. This is a really good one if you're applying glitter or metallic shades. So I do like that one. I also have this one from Kimchi Chic. This is their The Most Concealer, but I got it in the shade white to use as like a base for pressed pigments. I don't think this is going to last beyond this year because it's 18 months and I believe I had this for quite a while last year as well. And I don't really do like crazy, crazy colorful looks where I need a white base anymore, but you know regardless I do have it and then lastly I also have this one from Colourpop this is the party proof eye primer which is just kind of like a translucent sort of eye base very similar to the one from Urban Decay like the primer potion um, I don't really ever use eye primer too much anyway but yeah regardless I do have three of them now moving on to brow products last year I had 11 brow products and one of them I think is still the same maybe two Two of them, I think. I think these two were the only ones that were the same as last year. Yeah, just these two. So we'll start off. It's actually my two Kosas ones. So this is the Airbrow. Mine's the clear one. I know it's always looked a little funky because I used it over like my brow products. I also got that Too Faced eyeliner all over my hands. So please don't mind that. Um, but I don't know, like is mine expired? I've seen people talking about the Kosas stuff like molding, but I don't know if mine is molded or if it's just from my brow products that I've used this with. So I don't know, I'm a little bit scared of it right now, but um, regardless, it's in my collection still. Um, and then I have the Brow Pop pencil. This is the dual action defining pencil and I have mine in the shade medium brown. I prefer one that's usually a little bit thinner than this one. I don't know, this one's also feeling kind of dry. Like I got, I'm getting kind of scared now that I saw that, that this stuff expires quickly. It does say 12 months on here and obviously I've had it for over 12 months. So I don't, I'm going to try to use it in my brows again and see if it kind of like picks up well, because that doesn't look like it's picking up all that well. But yeah, so I do have those two. And then I have this brow pencil from Rowan. This is in medium. And let's just see this kind of compared. Yeah. So see, this one's just like a little bit more creamy and a little bit darker. Like I have pretty dark brow hairs. So I don't know if this one would work better anyway but these are the only two brow pencils i have and this is my only clear one aside from this one from benefit this is a 24 hour brow setter i got this some free gift with purchase i think around christmas time when i placed an order i really like this this is just a little mini size i'm not going to open it up just so it doesn't like i don't know break the seal or whatever but this is a really good one i had a mini one of this that like i purchased a couple years ago and i used that one up completely and it was really good so i am excited to have it again um i've just been using for my brows honestly a tinted brow gel and the one that i've been going to is this one from innisfree this is the skinny brow mascara in espresso brown it's just been my everyday i don't know it's so good i love these like skinny tipped brow things it's very similar to this one from huda beauty the bomb brows and this one is in medium brown and the stopper actually is coming out all right don't mind that but this one's really good it's a little bit more cool toned I guess than the one from Innisfree but I do really like both of these I also had this year another one of my favorites was the Merit one which I actually have in my empties I don't know if it's in my empties now or if it was in my empties last time I spoke about it but I love that one I just used the shade brown and I used that one up completely recently so I've just been working on my one from Innisfree again this one is from Yes Style if you guys were interested in picking anything up I have a link down below but yeah that is all my brow products so 
Compared to 11 last year, this year I only have six total. So yeah, less than last year, which I'm very happy about. So now moving on to single eyeshadows. So last year I had 12 single shadows, but I actually didn't include my ColourPop ones. I must have forgotten to include them last year because I used to keep my Super Shocks in a different container because I had a lot more of them. And I recently obviously did an entire makeup collection declutter video if you guys were interested to check that out. But yeah, I think this year now I am going to include them just because I keep them all together now. So starting out, I have this one here from Laura Mercier. This is one of their caviar sticks in the shade Strapless. And I think that this actually came with the Laura Mercier powder that I got in like a little set for Christmas. And this is really pretty. I normally don't use stick shadows like this. Like I got rid of all of my other ones, but I actually really like the color of this one. Then I have these from Revolution from the Grinch collection. This one is in the shade Cindy Lou Who. And I learned do not tip these over because they are very liquidy and they will spill out all over your stuff. I learned that the hard way. I accidentally spilled this green one all over my new Ugg sweater that my boyfriend got me, which was very sad, but I did get it out with rubbing alcohol. So if you get makeup on anything, rubbing alcohol does get it out. But regardless, these are really, really pretty. I got these as a gift for Christmas this year. And then I also have this gold one in the shade Max, which is so cute. I actually don't really have anything this like true gold color, so that's kind of cool to have. And then lastly, I have this one in the shade The Grinch, which is the one that spilled and got on my sweater. But it's okay because it's really, really pretty. Then I have this one here from Holika Holika. This is one of their eye spain glitters. And I have this one in the shade Candy Parts. This was another Korean beauty product. And I love using this one just to add a little bit of glitter and a little bit of sparkle. It's just so cute and pretty. And I don't know. I really like it. I don't know if you could see up close. But it has like a pinkish tint to it. And it just adds these really pretty glitters onto any of your eye looks. And I really, really love this one. Then this one I have from Ciate. This is their Eye Luster in the shade Eclectic. This one I always say I want to keep to do like a cut crease. I did do it once or twice and it did look really pretty. So I never declutter this one because I think it's too pretty to declutter. Just a really nice rose gold color. Then I have this from Trifle Cosmetics in the shade Baklava. It has this like rose gold kind of color and then a deep green. But I'm not going to swatch it because honestly I don't really think I'm ever going to use it. So I'm not going to touch this if I plan on passing it on in the future. Then I have my ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So I have quite a few of these. We'll take them all out of here. I have six of these. So I have this one in the shade Ice Dream, which these I'm not going to swatch just because I'm never going to get the glitter off my hands. But this is like a white with like a bluish purple flip to it. Really pretty. Then I have this one in Moonwalk, which has like a green with a red base. Again, kind of like a duochrome. Very, very pretty. I have this one in the shade Frog, which is like an icy pink that has kind of like a little bit of a bluish flip to it. One of my favorite ones, actually. I have one from the Animal Crossing collection. This one is in the shade Balloon Pop, which is a really pretty rose gold with some pink sparkle to it. Then this one is in the shade DGAF. This is a ultra glitter one, which is like a sort of brownish color that flips to like a bronzy gold. And then last one is this one in the shade Dream Lover, which is a purple. It has like a bluish purple pink icy flip to it. So very beautiful, all of these. And in comparison to last year's 12 single shadows, this year I have 13. So one more than last year, but I did not include all of my ColourPop Super Shocks and I probably had like maybe six or seven more of them. So pretty good. Right, and then now moving on to setting sprays. Last year I had six setting sprays and this year I only have three. Pretty good. I got this one kind of recently. I got it for my birthday actually, which was November 22nd, if you guys were wondering. And I've been working on just using this one up because I really liked this one and it was just like a nice light mist one so I probably should have gone to use my older my two older ones before moving on to this one but I mean hey it's just what I wanted to do um so I have this one from Fenty Beauty it's a baby what it do then I have this one from ABH. This is the Dewy Set. It does say 12 months on here and I am like nowhere near done with this. So I really need to go ahead and make this one a priority and start using it up. Um, then I have this one here from It Cosmetics. This is the Your Skin But Better setting spray. This one says 12 months as well. This one is almost empty though. Um, and I do really, really like this one. Also, all of these still smell good. So I don't think they're expired. But again, with like liquids and creams, I get a little bit more kind of freaked out by it. But I don't know. Again, let me, let me know what you guys think. But regardless, anyways, back onto this one. I really love this one. It is a really nice sort of hydrating one while also still being long wearing. So I always say it's kind of like a mix between the Dewy set and then the Urban Decay um, All Nighter 
lighter setting spray. It really is just like a perfect mix of the two of them. This is a really, really good one, and I would definitely recommend this to anybody looking for a good setting spray. Again, for my setting sprays, I only have three of them starting out this year. All right, so now I think that is it for today's video, you guys. Um, I'm not going to be including eyeshadows in today's video just because I don't plan on buying any eyeshadows or really honestly decluttering any this year. Um, I'm just kind of happy with where my collection is at. I recently did a declutter video, and I really don't see myself getting rid of any other ones, to be honest. And again, since I do have a dedicated declutter on it, if you guys wanted to see my eyeshadow collection, you can go ahead and watch that video. But yeah, I think that's where I'm honestly going to leave it today. I've been talking for like hours, and my voice is so tired i just love to film like one or two more videos today um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video i had so much fun going through it and i'm really really excited to see where my makeup is at next year and i know this video was very long awaited so i really hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you in my next one bye guys